Do not attempt to adjust your screen. Forbes DVD Live is taking over. So the pros and give us the pros and cons mm -hmm. of that situation with him taking your. Well, the, the, it, there's in all reality there's no cons okay. when you when you when you handle it when you handled it in the manner that I handled Handle it, it. Yeah. Okay. right. There's no cons. There's only pros, and and the fact is that um, it just allows you to put it. It, it allows you to uh, not not just only put something out that. Was impactful in a manner where I, where I can move on my own now, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it, it also, it also put, you know, just, it also, you know, to shed some light on you. Because now it created a story. Yeah, yeah. So it is no, there is no cons. When, when, That's when crazy, it, When is it time to stop talking about this, though? Um, me personally, I only talk about it because someone asked me. But that's what I'm saying. When do you say to the next, because the next interview. Yeah. Do you, I mean, do you after a while, do you be like... Alright, y'all know the fucking story. Review. Right. Go to this interview I spoke yeah. about. Because everybody wants their own same story, it seems like. I, yeah, and, and see, my thing is that I understand that. Okay. So, I, I'm not going to uh, shy away from it, you know what I'm saying? Because it is what it is. Like, you, you, you're you going to ask me this shit anyway. And I'm going to answer it the same way. Every time. Every you're time. Not lying. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day... I'm cool with it. Do you do you feel do you think it's it's wild that none of the interviewers ask him? Mm, not really, because because you because you know what I mean you you know you know people you know what I'm saying, and as an interviewer, shit for all I know I he probably right you would yeah. it's, I'm pretty sure nigga that he probably was like Yo, don't ask me no questions on that. You know what I'm saying? That's like, nigga, nigga, nigga would do that. You always got to find a way to nigga, ask the nigga, nigga some shit that. that he don't want you to act on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, my thing is like, you know, you don't know. The interview could have been, that could have been said to him, you know what I mean, and, and prior to him even doing the interview. So, yeah, one of the stipulations, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, so for me, it's nothing. You know what I mean? That's why I moved on to the next record. The Run, Run, Ricky, Run. Run. That's where we at today. Right. All right, Run, Ricky, Run. I seen you doing the interview, uh -huh. and dudes was trying to tell you how you should do your record. Right. Do you take some of that into consideration, or do you be like, yo, y'all no, don't know what the fuck y'all talking nah, about? Nah, you know, you know why, you know why I don't. It's because the same, the same way a person would say, yo, you should do your record in this way, right? And in, in, in reference to to that, I wouldn't have been there if I did it another way. What I did like your answer you know when you said, um, when is somebody gonna be different? <laughs> right. Because if you want me to do the right. record the way he would do it, right. That's the way everybody. would You know, do the crazy it. thing is, is like, like, like for instance, right? Because you know, and it's not it's not just him, but it's a lot of people. They like, yo, uh, there's no there's no snares here. There's no drums there, right? And it's like, yo, we need the drums to be there in order to rap on it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, I rapped on it with no drums. Right. So it's right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, if I could have did it, then shit. Well, who you saying that I am? You know what I'm saying? So I must be I must be the the, the, the motherfucker with like the just ill. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I could yeah. do anything. You know what I mean? So you know, at the end of the day, it's like. You know, like I said, you know what I mean. I think I think some of these dudes just got old ears, man. They just like they just they they wish things to be one way. Some of these niggas you know ain't real saying? rappers, though. That's true too. And some of these people, like I said, it is the old ears. You've been in right. the game so long. Right. You're used to a formula. Right. And hip hop was never about formula. Right. It was about how you was. This is your expression. Right. Exactly. Because what if Tribe Called Quest came out? Like the Jungle Brothers, right. you understand what I'm saying? We wouldn't have Tribe Called Quest, right? Know? Exactly. But you know, in this microwave hip hop but, world we in right. right now, everything is karaoke. That's true. And you know what's crazy? This is the crazy thing about that, right? Like people, people don't realize this that uh, you know, when you when you had like Ben Bod in them, right? That shit ain't sound like Nas, word, right? So and and they coming from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? You coming from the they kept they at the they at the beginning. They started this shit. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They at the very, very, very beginning. And I'm pretty sure it was somebody there when they first heard Nas rap. Somebody was like, What is this? You know what I'm saying? This ain't what we do. You know what I mean? But it took a person to come in and, 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 and carry that on. You know what I'm saying? And then he changed it. You know what I'm saying? Then you get into that, you know, you had that Grimey's 90, then you get into the Jiggy 2000. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You t it took a dude like X to come and be like, fuck that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I don't care about no diamond. I don't care about no jewels. It's whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's about me. And, that, and that's just how I feel. You know what I mean? Because I feel like this the, you know, where we at right now is like, you know, everything is about like flossing, right? Everything is about like, you know, dudes is damn near uh, going broke trying to go get a, a fucking 10 kilo Q 
Cuban link, you know what I'm saying? That he saw Jay Z wear one day, you know what yeah, I mean? He about yeah, to go, yeah. you know, you got dude and uh, shit. They had a dude not that long ago from Chicago. I don't know if it's true, but this was the word on him that he killed his mother. No, for that some, was for yeah, some yeah, bread, yeah, right? What you talking about? So he and did he all of that. Sean. Okay, and then when he went to go buy <laughs> Sean, they had the nigga on video yeah. throwing him fun, man. It was lit for real. Right, for real. right, it's lit for real, for real. So, um, how does it feel to come in the game and you got your own producer team, right. you got your own management team, you got right. your own dudes? You really technically didn't get a cosign right. the traditional way. Nah, I didn't. And, and the crazy thing is, is that it feels, it feels like, it makes me feel like a man. You know what I mean? Because I, I know that, you know, I, I got it from out the mud, for real. Yeah, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody give me no handout. I ain't asking nobody for nothing. I came into this game with somebody asking me for something. Yeah. So I know that as a man, I'm a, I can keep my my integrity is intact, and it will always be intact because because they say you know how you start is how you you, you don't gotta finish that way, yeah. but if you start nasty, you win nasty. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? the um the labels is you are you in talks with anybody? Are they biting yeah. on a lot yeah, of stuff? Yeah, 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 definitely. We you know it's a lot of couple deals, a lot of deals on the table. What's the you know what's what I mean? the right situation right now? If you if you no, can look man. in this camera and tell these motherfuckers. This what I want. What do you the, want and need? Personally, me personally, I don't really necessarily believe that uh, it, it's never gonna be nothing perfect, right? Okay. But you know, as long as it's right, in the sense that I'm allowed to 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 win in my own way, creative control, right? Yeah. And I have my people that's coming behind me, and they also can win. That's the situation that's right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's gonna honestly believe in what we're doing. How do you feel you know like I mean? right now? If you sign to a label, it's almost uh -huh. like you got to join a gang now. Like you got to rep they flag and yeah, you, you right. got to have take on all they beef and right. you right. How do you feel? I, well, I feel like I feel like what's crazy about that is that um you know and this is and this is the difference between myself and a lot of other people that's coming into this game because it's like I'm coming in where in all reality anything I get in, in involved in it's just going to be a partnership because I don't really need them. Or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't need, like, if I come into the, come into it, I don't need your, to, for you to uh, provide me with studio time, uh, producers, and, and people to do the merch. You know, I got my own people that can do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, anybody that I come in, in, in contact with is going to be a partnership. You know what I mean? Because I'm my own entity. I have my own entity. You know what I'm saying? So, I ain't going to necessarily have to take on the, 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 the beef with you. Because you know why? You're going to look at me and listen. All right, we signed them. This is, you know, we're going to have, we're going to, you know, build a relationship as a friend, but we are business partners. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's where the line is drawn. You know what I'm saying? We're business partners. How do you feel that it seems like um, you got to go out of town to get a deal from dudes? Because right. the dudes in New York with the signing power right. ain't signing nobody from New York. Uh, well, that's true. But I, but in, 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 well, you can't really say that. They not. And, that, and, and you got to look at it like this. Why not? Right, because if your music isn't that good to them, okay. it just isn't that good. So I'm not because what I'm saying is that I got a couple offers from people from New York okay. too. Okay. So what I'm saying is is that the sad the thing is the way things work now is like yo listen you got to get hot on your own. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's what people are forgetting. Yeah. Here. You still gotta work. Right. Here. Here. I think. You know. Not in that piff mix. Right. Up. You gotta hit the street. Hit right. The road. Exactly. Yeah. Cause you know what I mean. Cause deep. Cause you know we got we got people where it's like, um, they here right, but it's like, they like, we chase the radio. You know what I'm saying? It's like we gonna do something. It's like, oh, let's try to get into the radio DJ's hand in order to get it popping. You know what I'm saying? But in all reality, the way the world works now, due to the internet, you know, radio's like the last, they the last people to get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It done went, you, you, by the time you hear something on the radio, that joint probably done been out for six, seven we months. Really don't on the internet. Internet. Right. We don't Right. The people at a point where it's like, yo, we've been turning up to that yeah. for the last three months. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And now you're playing it. You know, it gets bigger, but it, but it has to start with a grassroot type of thing. Which now. you started with. Right. Um, your audience. Mm -hmm. Who would you consider to be your audience? And well, my my audience is is more of like the uh, just just the underground, you know, street, you know, gritty. You know what I'm saying? The dude, the dude, the dude that the dude that don't have. Yeah. Right. Because because in this sense, you know what I mean. Like I was mentioning earlier about the clubs, it's like a nigga can't even go to the club no more. Cause you, if you if you working and you only getting eight eight dollars an hour, right, and you getting paid. 
and your check might be like, shit, let's say $300, let's say maybe, you know, if you put in enough time, right? You can't That's afford it, yeah. right? You can't <laughs> afford it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know, you can't even afford to get in. And then it's crazy now because they like, yo, you got to bring your girl to get in. Yeah. It's like, damn, dude, I came here to get some chicks. I ain't yeah, come yeah. here to bring no bring chicks. Bring to the beach. Right, I ain't, come, I ain't come here to bring no girl. So I think my, my, my dude, the people that, you know, even the girls that, that mess with me, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of, you know, a lot of strippers that mess with me too because okay. I, I, I like, you know, I'm involved in their culture as well. Okay. So. They even mess with me because of that fact. Because of the fact that when they leave from there, they had fun. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. We had fun. It's about the thing. That's it's what not it's really a, all about. Right. And it's the thing about like, listen, uh, I don't, don't worry about your sneakers. You know, we ain't worried about your shirt. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how you come. As long as you wash your ass. Right. No, right. As long as you don't stink. You <laughs> yeah, know what I'm exactly. saying? You come in here. Cause niggas be fresh and they ain't hit that water yeah. at all. You know like, when you when you <laughs> when you you know when you get with me, let's just turn up. Let's get sweaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Let's get sweaty and go home. Yeah. You know, that's 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 where I feel like my audience is at. Alright, that's what it is. So we're gonna come right back with Manolo Rose. Inf, you got a couple of records for me over there? Yeah. DoggyDiamondsTV.com